What's going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take. Today I am talking about the Atlanta Hawks and someone that could possibly be on the trading block because of some news that we just got, but it also could be nothing. I don't want to see this person get traded, but I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. I'm going to tell you who I'm talking about and why in just a second, but make sure you first like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to a great rest of their off season, whole bunch of regular season wins, hopefully a healthy regular season too, and also the playoff run, whole bunch of postseason wins, maybe a championship appearance, maybe NBA finals appearance, maybe, mm -hmm. And also maybe a championship ring, baby. So we'll see what happens. Also, check out the second link in my description box to subscribe to the Tough Cause podcast. We're being your some of the business, as you like to say, or talking to your favorite former current athletes, hosts, anchors, reporters, all that good stuff. So just search Tough Cause in either Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts, and download the good content. Subscribe to the pod, listen to it, share it out to your friends so they can download it, listen to it, subscribe to it, share it out to their friends, friends, who will then download it, listen to it, subscribe to it, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get straight into the video today. I am talking about one Cam Reddish. Yes, Cam Reddish, I think, could still be in some hot water. I, not necessarily hot water, because that makes it sound like he's in trouble. He's not in trouble by any means necessary. He didn't do anything wrong. But he could most definitely still be on the trading block. Why do I say that? Well, Cam Reddish was supposed to play in the Summer League. When the Summer League roster came out, and this was before our playoff run had ended up, if I believe so. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Summer League roster came out before our playoff run ended before that game six milwaukee buck game happened so where he went crazy and almost willed him willed the atlanta hawks by himself to a game seven but when it came time to play summer league which is going on now shout out to jalen johnson skylar may shree cooper for balling so far but um yeah, when he was supposed to play in Summer League, when that time came, he's not playing in Summer League. Now, Travis Link was on Dukes and Bell, I believe it was yesterday, Sports Radio 99 game. Shout out to them. You already know we in here, gang, 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 gang. Um, do many things for 929 the game, producer, write articles, all that good stuff. Anyways, Travis Link, Hawks GM, was on Dukes and Bell yesterday, I believe it was. And when he was asked about that, he said, oh, it was either when Steve Coonan or Duke, or Travis Lake said this. Either way it goes. A person, either Steve Coonan, the CEO of the Hawks, or Travis Lake, the GM of the Hawks, said that, and actually now I'm thinking about, I think it was Steve Coonan. But anyways, now he said that, you know, Cam said he basically, this isn't a quote, but I'm just going to sum it up, basically said he didn't want to play. He didn't feel like he needed it. And, you know, he just really wanted to get ready for the season, blah, 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 blah. Is then the third. And they said, OK, that's fine. You know, this isn't anything new. We wanted Kevin Herter to play in summer league a couple years back. And he said no, and he didn't play. And it was fine. But I think this time could be different with Cam Reddish. Why? I think it could be different for a couple of reasons. One, we drafted Jalen Johnson. And Jalen Johnson is a forward from Duke. Ooh, Cam Reddish, forward from Duke. We basically drafted the same player. Now, I will say this, Brian Gephardt, shout out to him, producer for Andy and Randy on 99 game. He watched the whole thing, watched the whole summer league game. I did not get a chance to do so. And he said Jalen Johnson, you know, playing and the way he plays, he actually looks a little bit more like John Collins and plays a little bit more like John Collins. Now, this could mean nothing or something. Could mean that Cam Reddish is safe and that the Hawks know that they aren't expecting Jalen Johnson to be the replacement of Cam Reddish, which means Cam Reddish might not be on the trading block. Still could mean nothing in that Cam Reddish still could be on the trading block. 
So that's one reason. We drafted Jalen Johnson, and it seems like Jalen Johnson could be a replacement to Cam Reddish. I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong, because I still want to see Cam Reddish at least for a full healthy season under Nate McMillan. So I don't think Cam Reddish would get traded this season, maybe at the trade deadline. I think the earliest in my heart of hearts, in my guts of guts, I think the earliest we could see Cam Reddish traded is by the NBA trade deadline, this upcoming NBA trade deadline. I don't think it'll be any sooner. I don't think it will be this off season. The off season pretty much is over. I mean, we're in summer league now. I think all the moves have pretty much, all the big moves at least have been made. I don't expect to see the Hawks make any other big moves. Um, So, Maybe it's nothing, but I would not rule out Cam Reddish still getting traded. Now, who will he get traded for? I'm not sure. Maybe we see a guy like um, Kyle Anderson or something like that because we I mean, we probably get mostly picks back. I don't know, but I'm not going to rule out Cam Reddish being on the trading block, guys. I mean, we drafted Jalen Johnson. He was supposed to play in summer league and whether or not, he, you know, the story is true. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, Steve Coonan definitely wouldn't tip his hand if he was trying to trade Cam Reddish. So he definitely could be lying by saying that Cam Reddish did not want to play in summer league or they, you know, accepted his request to not play in summer league. He could be playing in summer league because they don't want him to get hurt and because they're planning, they're planning to trade him. So Cam Reddish could not be playing in summer league right now as he was planned to do. He was originally planned to play in Summer League this season because of the lack of time he got to play on the court this regular season, this past regular season. He was supposed to play in Summer League and now he's not. Could be because Cam Reddish ultimately is bound to get traded and they do not want to get want him to get hurt in Summer League because obviously you're not going to trade a hurt player and his stock would obviously go down if he got hurt. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. I know all of us in here shout out to all my subscribers i love you guys and i know we all don't want cam reddish to go but but could be on the trading block i mean with the Jalen johnson draft pick at 20th overall this whole summer league thing now i don't know i don't know i don't know so we'll see what happens but guys like i said i think if cam reddish is going to get traded i think it would be next offseason a whole year from now we might be talking about cam ready to trade depending on the type of season that he has if it's really bad or if he gets hurt again maybe then maybe we see something at the trade deadline for him um but other than that i think if he comes out has a solid season which i think he will i think this could be a really good season for cam reddish under nate mcmillan a full season under nate mcmillan he has a full off season under nate mcmillan hopefully he can stay healthy have a good season under Nate McMillan. And we aren't even talking about this by November or something like that. So we'll see what happens, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like I said, I don't want Cam Reddish to get traded. I want to see him under a full season under Nate McMillan before I make any more judgments about this. But I'll be lying to you guys if I said this, this is a thing that is definitely not going to happen because it's not. Cam Reddish could definitely be traded, and I would not be surprised if he is traded. So, just put it out there, guys. You know, I got to keep it real with y'all in the hometown take. I'm always keep it real with y'all. I'm always going to keep it buck with y'all. I'm always going to keep it a hundred. Cam Reddish could be traded. Don't be surprised if he gets traded, guys. I don't like it. I don't like saying it. I know he has great potential, but just telling you what I think. Just from what I've heard, and I'm just saying, I'm just saying, my ears been to the streets, and the streets talking about that he could be traded. These the streets talking, not me. I'm just keeping my ear to the streets for y'all, letting, letting you know what's going on. Cam Reddish could be traded. Like I said, Jalen Johnson pick seems seems a little fishy. There were rumors that you know they want to get, they want to refresh a rookie contract with one of the forwards because they know Travis Schlink knows that they can't pay everybody which they can't so they're gonna bring in another rookie to move somebody else out that they ain't gonna they're not gonna be able to pay they have somebody else ready in the wings and that could be Jalen Johnson getting ready in the wings to replace Cam Reddish I'm just putting it out there okay these the streets talking not me I'm just reporting back to y'all so we're going to see what happens, y'all, but make sure y'all like this video, comment your thoughts, 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to a great rest of our off season. Hopefully a whole bunch of regular season wins, staying healthy, all that good stuff. A long postseason run, maybe an NBA final appearance, mm -hmm. and an NBA championship ring, baby. Also, check out the second link in my description box to subscribe to the Tough Cause podcast. Me and your small with dudes, Bizwood, are talking to your favorite former current athletes, hosts, anchors, reporters, head coaches, all that good stuff. So search Tough Cause near the Apple Podcast, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast, and don't miss out on the good content. Listen to it, download it, subscribe, and share it out to your friends so they can listen to it, download it, subscribe to it, share it out to their friends, friends who will listen to it, download it, and subscribe to it. So, guys, again. I hope it doesn't happen. I don't think in my heart of hearts and guts of guts it'll happen now. Like I said, Cam Reddish, I don't think, we'll, I think at the earliest he'll be traded, I think would be this upcoming trade deadline, like this upcoming trade deadline in March, or possibly this time next year, this time in 2022, in this upcoming off season. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. And hey, until I talk to you guys next time, Stay true to Atlanta. Believe in Atlanta. Boo.